previously on Chaser. Who are you, Chico? I ain't seen you here before. For the last few hours, I've been called Chaser. Same name as the guy on TV. So, Tommy wasn't born, Mr. Chaser in person. This isn't happening. Glad you're okay, Mr. Chaser. Welcome to the family. And now, John Chaser reputedly works for him. Chaser? But he on my side. This is the biggest and last water treatment station in MC. The only source of clean water in the city. Half an hour ago, it was in our hands. And that's the reason you're here. Who's behind it? This attack was the work of the Raiders, an armed band controlling the black market on smuggled iceberg water. The first results of video analysis show that they brought a large number of barrels for the transport of chemicals. They probably got hold of the waterworks with the aim of contaminating the source. We suspect their goal is to acquire the monopoly for drinking water from icebergs to gain the power over the city that we currently hold. So we have to strike immediately. The waterworks has only one entrance from the north. Sanchez and Franklin, you take the sniper rifles and climb up there. From there you'll cover our people, is that clear? Vaughn, you lead the entry team. Teams Alpha and Bravo will follow you. The aim is the elimination of all raider units and securing of the waterworks area. The barrels with the chemicals represent a huge hazard. Under no, repeat, under no circumstances can they go in the water. We don't know what they contain and we can't afford any risk. The waterworks must be secure as soon as possible and operational, is that clear? Then move out! Get moving! Sir, their defense is too strong! They got snipers covering the whole area and we can't get in! Chaser! We need you to get inside and open the gate. Bypass the area and find an alternative way in. We'll keep them busy in the meantime. Hello and welcome back. We're off to a noisy start this time, so uh, let's take a look around. Here we have some of our buddies juking it out with some snipers in the balconies. Um, keep an eye on my armor as I take a single hit on the way past, um, and we'll see what happens. Our mission for this level is to find a way inside so that we can open the main doors so our commando buddies can get in and do some clearing up. Um, so we just take a wander around. Now I've chosen the wrong direction here on purpose just so I can kind of cover as much of the level as possible. The level itself runs for a very long time and I've tried to go into every nook and cranny that I can find just in case there's something interesting, which there is not. It'll at least give you an idea of how bar in the outside of this particular level is. The the inside is very expansive and there's a lot to do in there but as far as the outside goes it's very, it's very featureless. It could have done with a few more windows into the inside. That's really my problem with this game in general. The, the levels are very very big and there's really no way to anchor yourself within a level. You, you don't know where you are in relation to a place you've been just five minutes before. I mean, at this level, if you just threw in a couple of windows from the inside to the outside, you'd have a much better idea of where you were going. But, since, uh, as you'll see later, they're not there, so you, you kind of just wander around aimlessly looking for the next open door. Speaking of which, up there we've got a little hole in the wall which leads onto a walkway of sorts that appears to lead into the, um, into the waterworks, so let's make our way there. Maybe you had noticed this doorway on the way past. At least it was open and well lit, so it at least attracted the eye. First up we have some more graffiti, and I think this maid person actually refers to one of the people on the design team. There's a similar bit of graffiti in the second level, in the Montag City slums, which also refers to maid too. I'm guessing at the time period written in the graffiti it refers to some in-joke that the development team will have.
As far as this part of the level goes, we appear to be in an apartment block of some kind. We um, we can go into a few of the floors and, and try some of the doors, but none of them open. In fact, I would always think back to this particular level and wonder if any of the doors did open at all, because I, I can never remember fully going through every single door, so I did it this time. Um, but none of them open, so I'll just fast forward this section. Uh, this kind of thing irritates me to no end. And the final room in the entire building is the only one we can go into. Uh, it appears to be a crime scene of some sort. Uh, we're not really going to stay long, we're just going to be passing through. You need to be careful when you're climbing the second ladder. If you're running when you reach the very top, then it's quite possible that you'll throw yourself off the other side of the walkway, and you'll just plummet to your death below. The walkway leads us to an air vent, which we drop our way into, and we meet our first enemies of the level. Look out! Scattered throughout the level are these first aid boxes which contain health and armour for some reason. I'm not sure how many water workplaces require body armour, but uh, well it is the future. I guess I should prepare you. Um, you should get used to me walking up to doors and levers and all sorts of things because there's really no way to tell what you're supposed to do you just have to try everything really this level is a particularly good one to highlight just how bad the AI kind of is you can see that they, they more or less just stand their ground the whole time until they see you in which case they go for cover and then stay in cover more or less all the time a very rare example of an ambush involving physics stuff rolling around. We're not going to see that again for a very long time. We finally made our way to the balconies so we can uh, take a, a shot at some of the snipers here. Keep an eye on my health and you'll see just how much, uh, again, a single shot can do to you. guys down there are shooting at some of the balconies below me, but even if you killed everyone here, they're, they're scripted to fire at this location. You could even see the bullet tracers going to the same spot every time. So, there's nothing really dynamic about this at all. He's dangerous! If the sniper rifle appears to be dangerous for us, it's just as dangerous for them. The um, It's pretty much just a one-hit kill every single time. As I said before, once you get your hands on a scoped weapon, the game becomes a lot easier since you can afford to attack people from quite a distance away and it, it improves your odds of survival considerably. I decided to include a few examples of sniper kills. On me, of course. Ah! 
killed him. I find it funny um, or somewhat tragic that even on normal difficulty, which I'm playing on, and even though this is about the fourth or fifth level of the actual game, I still have to be wary of one-hit kills when I have full health. we're done with snipers for a few levels so we can just drop down this hole and carry on further into the belly of the level Stop it! Ah! 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 the main point you'll come away with with this level is the how noisy it is Pretty much everything is machinery that's operating in some way, and almost everything has a very loud ambient noise. Um, not that it's really much of an issue, to be honest, because you don't really use sound for um, locating enemies or anything in this game. multiple paths here so I, I'm just doing a little bit of exploring around and trying not to go too far ahead of myself to make sure I cover everything. Now I want you to remember this particular room. There's nothing special about it and that's kind of the problem. The flow of the level indicates that you're supposed to go through this section Eventually we go all the way around and see this place from the other side of that fence over there. there. There's no real indication, there's no arrows on the walls or anything to say that you need to be on the other side of this door. You just kind of end up there later on and it's it's a missed opportunity. And it's, it goes back to what I was saying with um, having windows opening to the outside and things. It, it gives you a chance to anchor yourself within a level and to, to give yourself some point of reference. Call for others! It's very rare that when we change the levels that we'll still carry the weapons that we had on the previous level, so um, I just take the opportunity to use up some of these sniper rounds. There's not really much to say about this area, it's not particularly interesting, you've just got a number of floors to work your way down, and there's some boxes and there's some enemies. Although if I'm right, then on the other side of the far wall, the commandos are there waiting for us. Um, though it's, as I say, no windows, I can't tell. There! This door is probably the only one which has any visual reason for it being locked. All the rest are disclosed with, with no indication that any is different from the other, but this one has a metal pole through it, so... But why it should be special above all the others, I have no idea. Again, it's probably one of those things where if I could see the entire level at once I would understand, but, um, I can't.
I believe this door is one which more than likely leads outside to the commandos. But of course it's closed, so we need to go the other way. Look out, he's dangerous. I think these doors deserve a hazard sign. They, they close really quickly after you go through them. the door that had the iron bar on the other side and there's really nothing special about it. I cannot understand why this particular door was singled out from all of the others. Surely it would have been better served being put on the door inside the room I told you to keep in mind. The level has been kind of samey up until this point, but now we're about to get into things a, a little bit different. Things are a little bit more asymmetrical. You can see I make certain to save pretty much before I climb any ladder in this game. For some reason I just cannot see the guy whenever I look around this corner. It's like he's got some sort of predator cloak on until he starts to move. I can see him! He's here! At this point there's quite a few places for the AI to appear from, so I just kind of take things very, very carefully. I can see him. Finally, here we are at the other side of that fence of the room I told you to remember. I just wish the level designer had taken a little bit more time and, and really just indicated that this is where we were going to end up. It, it was a really a missed opportunity. by the game here. As soon as we climb into the vent in front of us, a guy will spawn just around the corner. If you look one level down and across where the steam is, you'll see our first real puzzle of the level. What we need to do there is so find a way to disable the steam, um, but as it turns out we don't really need to, we can actually just run through the steam. We'll take a little bit of damage, but it's certainly no worse than damage we take from a normal firefight with any of the AI. Kill 
A little jump through will show you just how much damage it does. The armor itself is, is untouched, it's only the health that gets hurt by the steam. Um, but that would be just too easy, we're going to find another way down so we can see how things are supposed to be done. There was a ladder back the way we came and that's where it leads down to. We're just taking a very awkward way down. Although to be honest, I'd say climbing down all of these ventilation things is probably safer than the ladder. Here's something to point out. The particle effect for the steam is triggered only when you can see it. As soon as you look away, the effect is completely removed, and then when you look back, it's created all over again. to make sure the job is done and we're back on our way. With a little bit of thought it would have been perfectly obvious what we had to do here. The pipe leads all the way down but as you would have seen from the rest of the level I just try every single thing I can because you never really know what you're supposed to really be hitting. Things that look like you can use them, you probably can't. Things that you don't think you would, you probably have to. There! I think that guy is probably scripted to spawn when you're going down the ladder, but because we were going up the ladder for the first time, the um, the guy just spawned down there and we weren't there to shoot him up with our bullets. And here we have another dick move. If we didn't save any of the sniper ammo, we'd have a lot of trouble here. We'd end up having to barrel head first down a long corridor to get those guys. But luckily, um, I came prepared, so we can take them out from a distance. But of course it doesn't mean we can get away unscathed, we do still take a, a couple of hits. This connecting corridor is one of the few places that has some actual windows, and if we look outside we've got a, a courtyard below us, and one of those big doors leads to the outside where the commandos are. For all the times I've played this game, there has never not been a guy crouching behind that. I don't know if it's scripted that way or if it's bugged. Here we are going to play a game of guess where you go next. See if you can figure out where you're supposed to go, because the very first time I played this level, I spent a good 4 or 5 minutes wandering around trying to figure out what to do. get it? It's a tiny gap in the railing. It's uh, the rest of the railing you can't jump over, as you can see, but you can jump over this bit. I know there was a health box there to kind of draw you towards it, but just because of the way it's situated, it's not contrasted against um, a lit area or anything unless you happen to be standing in a certain place. and It, it isn't something that's easily noticeable. And another really dick place to spawn an enemy. Every now and then there's a bit in the level which just doesn't feel right and this part here, um, it's it's too enclosed and it just kind of feels flimsy and I, I, I just don't like this at all.
try to be clever and do an action hero move and lose some health. Starting to become more war and like there's lots of little nooks and crannies for people to hide in. See if you can spot this guy before he shoots. Kill him! Nope. this doorway and we're into some sort of abandoned unfinished area where things are kind of crumbling about and we have to make our way through that. Thankfully this time it's fairly obvious which way we have to go, uh, for the moment anyway. And remember this doorway for a few minutes time. we follow this pipe around we end up going in through a ventilation shaft which takes us to another area. We, we do come back here but you see it from an angle that you don't really see it from when we're in here the first time. Um, I'll get back to that when we get there. this area we've got a little firefight going on and if we leave it for long enough they will kill each other and I, I think that regardless of who the winner is they will still try to kill you. It doesn't make much sense. You're certainly not there to join in and help, you just have to really kill everyone. I'm not sure how the firefight was kicked off since all of the doors are closed. Maybe they opened it to let some guys in and then ambushed them? I don't know. way to go is through this ventilation shaft but I just want to have a look around first. Nothing really there but yeah, just to make sure. There is the shaft that we came out of. And ultimately that means that we're doubling back on ourselves going into the room we were in previously. And unfortunately there's no way to go faster. And we are now above that doorway. Now we drop down this hole. Now we carefully drop down this hole and we are in an area where we can't double back on ourselves so the only way to go is forwards. There. Here I save in an awkward place with very low health but it's something I always seem to do.
down these stairs we've got some more steam blocking our path but I really don't have the health to attempt jumping through this time so it's going back upstairs to have a look for something else to twist to block it off. Instead we find this machine of some sort. Wait for it. Yep, that's all it does. There's absolutely no payoff whatsoever. It does turn off the steam, but it... Look closely and you'll see that someone's actually modelled in the Roman numerals. Can't believe that someone would go to that effort and uh, leave the rest of the... <laughs> uh. Okay, and after the game crashed my computer, we can uh, carry on with things. This time we'll just avoid hanging around and watching that machinery do nothing and go wait by the steam, where we can do nothing there too. Since I know those guys are going to spawn ahead of us, I can preemptively get out my sniper rifle and hopefully I can pick them off. I know that I have to dash ahead to trigger them and then I'll probably just run away. Naturally I didn't run ahead far enough to trigger the AI, so I'm going to have to do it again. Stop him! It's very hard to foot snipe when the feet won't stop moving. I know this bit is particularly boring, but we're only a few moments away from the end of the level and I'm just simply desperate to finish. And after a few quick checks, just to make sure I'm not going to get murdered down here, uh, we've reached the end of the level. Um, there's a, a cutscene that happens down here, I'm just firing a few shots at uh, a, a barrel or two, just to see if they blow up, which they don't. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you have a look at the water, you can kind of get an early glimpse of something I'll show you next time of the deformable water. But um, yeah, that's that's it. See if you can tell which one of the hostile NPCs I find particularly funny in this cutscene. And also keep an eye out for the toilet cam and Chaser's Jiggle Physics eyebrows at the very end of the cutscenes. The HQ units are very close. Our troops have suffered heavy losses. This is our last chance to reach the target. Throw the barrels in the water and let's get out of here. Roger. Position to be issuing orders to us, Lieutenant. Don't move a muscle or you're dead. If you think shooting us will prevent contamination, then you're even dumber than you look. All your efforts have failed. This war works is finished. You don't have a chance. I don't think so. You're toying with the water, Lieutenant. You don't drop your weapons immediately, you're dead. Let's finish it.
next time on Chaser.